I ain't say all that. I ain't say well, all what, that. What, what, what the f*** you saying, bro? All I'm saying is I'm trying to figure out is it all right if I claim Melanie on my expenses. Man, I'm over 20 grand on, on money I spent on Melanie last year. So first, let, let me understand something right quick. Okay. You asking me for permission to claim my wife. When the f*** did you ask for permission to f*** my wife? Help me with hey, that, hey, bro. I, I, okay, 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 okay. Let's do this here. Uh, Gerard, I ain't say I did that. You saying that? I'm saying I just want to claim the taxes because I spent 20K on it. That's all I'm saying. Okay, let, let's, do, let's do this, bro. Let's put mail it on, on the phone. Let's put mail on the motherfucking phone. Ain't no, phone. We, we ain't got to bring mail in this. We ain't got to bring mail in this. What I'm saying is... Motherfucker, she already in it. She in it. What the fuck you mean we ain't got to bring her in it? She in it. Man, you must be outside your damn mind. All I'm saying is, do you have a problem with me claiming Melody? You motherfucking right I do, bruh. I got a motherfucking problem having this whole motherfucking conversation. When, how, first of all, how the fuck did you get my information? How did you get my number, bruh? No, I asked around for your number. I, I ain't want to call you. It took me a week to, to to call you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to... Dude, I, I just spent 20 grand, dog. You know what I'm saying? When did you spend twenty grand? That's the shit I want to know. I ain't spent twenty grand on this mother, and I'm married to her. Ass. So what? What the fuck are you doing that you spent twenty thousand dollars on my wife, and then you want to claim that? Shit? Help me understand that, shit, bro. Hey man, I ain't trying to go into all my receipts on everything I did for Melanie. I'm not trying to do that. All I'm trying to do is is just. I'm, I just want. I want to. I want to know if you. I don't want us both claiming it because that's how you get in trouble. Bro, you, you already in mother trouble. Trouble is the last mother thing you ought to be worried about. And you calling my mother phone, telling me about some that you got going on with my old lady, and then you telling me, can I have your permission? You mother Okay, so, yeah. dog, we got to get some kind of resolution to this. A good resolution is a good ass whooping. What the fuck you mean a resolution? That, that's the only mother resolution we going to get, bro. Ain't no other resolution. Ain't no other resolution. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't got shit else to talk about. We ain't got a mother thing to talk about. That's the resolution I got, partner. I, I tell you what, bro. I'm texting Mel right now. I've been texting her since we've been on this mother phone. Okay. And I you, pray. What, what, what are you texting her for? <laughs> Don't. What the fuck you mean? What am I texting her for? She's the subject matter. So that's why the fuck I'm texting her. But you better pray to God. This is some bullshit. I hope to God you, y'all got y'all people up with me like this, partner. This ain't going to go good, bro. At all. At all. Okay, so I guess I can't claim them at this point. Hell, mother no. So what you want to do, though? Bro, I've already told you what the I'm going to do. And I'm waiting on Mel's response on this mother She act like she's slower than a mother She can't type fast. So somebody go get me some now. Today. Okay. Say, man, look here, bro. I don't know who this is on the other end of this phone. I hope to God this shit is from some out of the X Files or some shit, some shit that I can't even fathom. You better pray to God y'all playing with me. This is some bull. Okay, okay. So, can I go on and tell you this here, dog? And then I'm gonna go get out your way, man, because I, I I know how it's gonna go after this. Can I just go and tell you something else? But I don't know what the f else you can tell me, bro. The uh, only thing I can tell you, only thing I can tell you, Kendrick, okay. is that this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your, your wife, Melanie, got me to prank phone call you, dog. Boy, y'all from Maratin, motherfucker. Boy. You, look, that about to come in with your motherfucker. I for God. Man, y'all ain't man. Y'all ain't yeah. And I'm sitting up here eating some crackling, and I done threw them away because my flesh pressure already high. <laughs> uh, you all right, man? I got to make sure you all right before we get off the phone. You good? Man, I got to go get me a drink. God. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right, bud. <laughs> that boy, y'all ain't all right, tell me this, man. It's 2020, baby. Tell me this. What's the baddest, and I mean the baddest radio show in the land? Man, the goddamn Steve Harvey Morning Show with that rotten ass nephew tunnel. My boy. Man, that wasn't real fast. Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs>
Because <laughs> he was oh my about God. that life, baby. He would yeah. play too yeah. much. Yeah. Was playing. Kendrick. Kendrick yeah. was about playing. that life. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I'm That's mad to her. And I don't spend $20,000. <laughs> 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 so what is you doing? What is what, 20000 or what? 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 <laughs> Woo, Let me tell you when I when I go when I go to that to to, to to my booty collection. I'm telling you when I go in there and pull out a prank, I got something. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't nothing like my booty files. When I go to the booty files, it means. What something. was the name of this prank again? Uh, booty taxes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Booty taxes. Yeah. This is too yeah. stupid. But he answered yeah. me like I asked him a rhetorical yeah. question <laughs> or a dumb question. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Like how dare yeah. you? It's the booty collection. Yeah, like, like, like. Let me that. let y'all know something. Let me tell you something. I'm working on. I'm working on getting my own. Like you know how they have car shield. Mm -hmm, you yeah. seen how they have car? Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm working iced, on. Iced tea. Yeah. I'm working on cookie shield. You know what I'm saying? Cookie shield. So if something go wrong, I can't. Can I? Can I talk mm -hmm. about that? Crazy mm -hmm. right now. Okay. Yeah. Are, are you? Crazy but if something right go wrong, I'm. I, you're protected. You know, under, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. under, yeah. under my I, shield. You understand? Stop talking. You're, That's yeah. what you yeah. need okay. yeah. to do. Let's yeah. Stop talking. <laughs> well, this is how the cookie you. crumbles, Carl. This is. You got a lot of that. <laughs> you run out. My mother used to say that you run out. My well, this is how the cookie you. crumbles, Carl. This is. How <laughs> <the cookie> <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of that. You run out. My mother used to say that you run out. <laughs> yes, my mom. Uh -huh. you, re you really running out. Uh -huh. I ain't for one resolution. He was not having it. It's the blanket. Blank subject. Yeah. Matter. All right, listen, up next the strawberry letter subject. My daddy loves my friends. We'll get into it right after what? this. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach Regina, please. Mm -hmm. Speaking. You did a uh, a bachelor party for me and my boys like about two weeks ago. How did you get my number? How how can I help you? You need a party done? I mean, what what do you need? Okay, well no, no, it ain't nothing like that. I was saying, you know, you did a lot of lap dances. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. Well, listen, you know, uh, that night I was at the party. You did some lap dances for me. But okay. I accidentally, I thought I gave you a $10 bill when I really gave you $100. <laughs> okay. So, you know, I need, actually, what I, the reason why I called you was I'm trying to, I'm trying to get that, you know, I'm trying to get that $90 back. I'm not giving you no damn $90. Excuse me? I'm not giving you your damn ninety dollars. Hell, when hold you gave me that hundred dollars, hold on, wait a minute, hold on, you, hold on. I don't even think you understand. I wasn't trying to give you all that money at one time. I need to get that money back from you. I don't I was think you to understand. Give you Ten dollars. That's it. The other ninety dollars belong to me. I ain't get my change back from you. I'm not giving you no change back. That ninety dollars was a damn tip. I'm not giving you back. Don't nobody be giving you no damn hundred dollars at one time. What's wrong with you? I'm not giving you no damn ninety dollars back. Yeah, you should watch what you was doing. Cause you should. You gonna give me my ninety dollars? Look, I done already told you. I wasn't even trying to give you this money. I was trying to give you. I was trying to give you ten dollars. That's what I was trying to give you. I'm not giving you a damn thing back. You're not getting nothing. Hell, you should be at home with your wife and your kids. Hey, lady, listen. You don't even understand what what's going on right here. Lady, my you should have been there. I wasn't trying to, wasn't, wasn't nobody trying to give you no money. This is a misunderstanding. I need to get my hundred dollars back. Now look, I'm already saying I was given ten, but ninety of that belonged to me. I'm not giving you no damn man. How you lost your mind? You calling me, waking me up, talking about giving you ninety dollars. I'm not giving you that. How you lost your mind? I'm gonna give you a tip. But I ain't giving you no ninety dollar tip. You did. You got no hundred dollars. I was giving you a ten dollar. Hey, lady, look. I'm not gonna sit here and go at it. I go at it with with you all this. Look, I want to get my ninety dollars back from you. No. First of all, if you call me late one more time, I'm gonna come find you and kick your. Ass. Second of all, I'm not giving you no damn ninety dollars back. Thanks for the tip. You should have been there in the first place, like I said. Keep your ass at home next time. Hey, lady. It's on the real, I ain't trying to go back and forth with you. I, I was, I'm saying is it's been a mistake. I wasn't trying to give you no hundred dollars. All right, so I when I give you a hundred dollar bill, bill, that was a mistake. I just want my money back. Ain't nobody tripping with you. Give me my money back. I'm not giving you a damn thing back. I'm not giving you a back. That's your problem. You need to go home and tell your wife what you did 
with that extra nine dollars. So you don't mess around and get your I told you, I want my nine dollars back. I'm not giving you a thing. I'm not to come find me then. Come find me. Come find me. Come find me then. If you want to have my nine dollars back, come find me. Yeah. You don't mess around and get your behind ninety dollars. I want my money from you. What? I want you to get my. I want you to Don't you bring your up in here? When are you going to pay me my $90? I'm not giving you no damn $90. Don't so ask me that no No, I'm not giving you no $90. Thank you for the damn tip. You ain't getting You're going gonna, you gonna to give me my $90. You're going to do that. You don't come in here for that I'm going to get change back. Please, you better get your off my phone before I come cut your What the do you think I have? Don't call me with this I got one more thing I want to tell you. You listen to me? Well, no, I'm not listening to your punk. Oh, you listen to me. I got one more thing I need to say to you. No, you didn't kiss my. I got one more thing I need to say to you. Are you listening to me? Cut up. Don't call me with that. I ain't listen to you. I'm Kevin Dunn. What you got to say? You can kiss my with your punk. I said, I got one more thing to say to you. Are you what listening you to say? me? What you, what you got to say? What is it? What is it? This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your girlfriend. Who is this? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Thank you for calling. Hello, I'm trying to reach Nicole, please. This is she. Hi, uh, how you doing? Listen, my name is Shay Leon, and I was calling you to see if you had any booth rental in the salon that you work in. Actually, I do have space for another um, person to come in and work. Um, I am in a suite. Um, it's rather small in here, but if you are interested in coming in and working, I would really like to have someone come in and work with me. That would be nice. Well, let me ask you something. Have you have you had a um, uh, a PHS? Have you worked around a PHS person before? What's PHS? A PHS is... Uh, uh, private hair specialist. I, I do women's private hair, like if they want removal from under their arm or their chin or, you know, but most of my work actually resides in the bikini line. Uh, you know, I'm an artist, so I'm known to put your name there. I I can dye it a different color, a mohawk, a, a landing strip. You okay, know, okay. I let, can me, put, let me I let can, me let me stop you right there. Um, you did call and say you were a hairstylist. And the last time I checked a hairstylist, they would be style hair, the hair on top of the head. Shay Leon does hair. It just doesn't necessarily have to be the hair on the head. I'm just saying I okay, style well, hair. Okay, well, Sierra Leon, Sri Lanka. What's, what's your name again? I'm sorry. Shay Leon. You cannot continue to name? get this wrong. Shay, Shay Leon. Okay, I'm sorry. What was the name your mom gave you? Cause my, Shay... my, my government name is Leon. But it's okay, my name. Leon. Okay, Leon. Leon, Leon. <sighs> Again, this is a suite, and you will be working in the open with myself and my clients who are accustomed to having a professional setting. Um, and I don't think it would be appropriate for you to have someone come in and have a landing strip, an airport, a plane, their baby daddy's name. Put on. I don't, I don't, I or whatever you do, that's not what we're about here. Okay, so are you trying to say that you're not open for new ideas? I'm sorry. If you consider that a new idea, then I'm giving you the phone number to someone else because this, this, we're not going to do that here. Hey, listen. We're not having, my, we're not my, having problem, my problem is this. I'm we're calling not, you. We're not, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. You called my salon. Where, where did you even get my number from? Why? What made you think that you could call my shop and that this is what we do and you could come here and you could do that? Well, I'm thinking that you would be open for something no, new. But why something... would you think that I'd be open for that? Who, who told you that? What? I mean, you I'm not, came all I'm not the way from California. That, I'm not saying that someone you came, told you me that. You came all the way from California, and you called me. You're not coming to my salon to call your name, anybody else's name, any type of landing strip, any type of initials, okay? This is a professional salon, and we style hair. The hair on the hair. That is what I'm doing, honey. Right? I'm styling hair. Did you that is what on the hair did you not hear? What part of the hair did you I said Shirley Hahn styles hair. That's what Shay Leon does. Look, I, you, I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you already. So you know what? This is not even going to work. This is not even going to work. Again, we're not doing that here in my shop. I'm sorry. 
I hope you can call someone else and maybe they'll accept your craft. I'm sorry you. that your career would not be as successful as, as you would like it to be because you're not open for new ideas. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is looking me. For My something salon different. is very successful, thank you. You know what? I'm going to come over there and pass out flyers in front of your shop, letting them know about Shay Leon and letting them know also that you are not who you really are. When are you coming? Are you coming today? Don't worry about when I'm coming. I know where you are. I'm here right now. Can you come today? Please come. I'm coming today. Please come over here because I'm going to be that outside waiting for your Bring your over here. Bring it. Because you're not about to stand outside in front of my salon and degrade my salon. What you're not going to do is deny Shay Leon. You're not going to deny Shay Leon. Please come over here because you will catch the first thing smoking back to California if you bring your over here. I got one more thing I need to say to you. Are you listening to me? Thing to say to me. Shay Leon has one more thing he needs to say. Are you listening to Shay Leon? What, what, what is it? This is not. You Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your girlfriend, Michonne. What? <laughs> Hello? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to keep your <laughs> and hers. <laughs> I don't know why I do it. Oh, God. <laughs> Hey, baby, I got one more thing I need oh, to Oh, God, what, what else you got to say? What is the baddest radio show in the land? <laughs> the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Hello? Oh, I'm trying to reach Tiffany. Uh, this is Tiffany. Who's calling? This is Karan. How you doing? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. I didn't know. Hi. You know what? I know we've been I know we've been going back and forth on the site <laughs> talking yeah. and we haven't you know really talked yet. So um, yeah, you know, it, it's okay. I just wasn't expecting a call, but yeah, it's good to hear from you. Um, uh, it's good to hear from you. Now. You know, I mean, we've been we've been talking for well a over, long time. Well, texting and on the site for at least what five weeks now. Yeah, it's been really. I'm, I'm glad you called. Uh, for real, seriously. Like, Ann, I love your voice. So I'm excited. Hey, yeah. what's up? <laughs> um, you know, um, you got anything going on this weekend? Um, I don't think so. I, I just have to, like, you know, go grocery shopping or whatever. But, like, other than that, I'm pretty open. What's up? I was thinking maybe we get together, get a get a drink or two, just you know, kind of yeah, hang out I'm a little so bit, feel each other out. Uh, if you if you're feeling that, you know, I don't want to. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. We can get together. I, I'm interested, you know. Like, I'm, I'm happy you called, and I would love to see you this weekend. Um, you got a place in mind, like, uh, area. You know, I, you know, I was thinking about letting you pick something because, you know, I'd, I'd rather go somewhere where you're comfortable, an atmosphere okay. that you're used to. Um, I think that would be the, the best thing to do. Okay. <laughs> well, let me yeah. look. <laughs> let me find out. I'll get back to you on that. But, yeah, I'm down for sure. I just want to hang out a little bit. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> cool, yeah. cool. I'm excited. <laughs> good, good. What what's good for you? Um you know if you want to do so something Friday do or, like, or Saturday, it's it's up to you. Yeah, let's do um let's do Saturday to give me, you know, some time to like, you know, get myself together. Okay. Six or seven. Okay. Text me uh, you know, the location or whatever, wherever you want me to okay, be. Okay, cool. Sure. You know, I'll be there. Okay, cool. Hey, okay, hey, cool. I can't thing, wait though. to see you. One, one more up? thing. Okay, let's let's do this first. Tell me this. What what, what are we wearing? So I don't, I'm not, I don't want to be overdressed or underdressed. I don't really trip on that. First day could be chill. Like I'm not. You know, we don't have to do like a five hundred dollar dinner or nothing like that. You don't uh, need on a tux. Gotcha. This ain't gotcha. the Rock Nation brunch. You know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> but if you don't mind, if I could get you to do something for me, could you? Um, could I give you my cash app? For what? Well, what I want to do is, you know, sometimes these things actually go wrong. You know, I don't see it going wrong with me and you because we've had, you know, the way we've been chit-chatting and going back and forth on the site, things have been really, really well. You know, yeah. but, you know, I would like to get, you know, like a, you know, a love deposit of $250. That way, if this go wrong, at least I haven't wasted my time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm just processing what just happened. Um, you said you want me to get your cash app and send you a love deposit of two hundred and something dollars? Two fifty. 
two fifty. Like you know, that way if this don't, if this don't go right, you know, <laughs> then at least I have them. You know, it's a love. It's like a love deposit. You know, if it go if it goes right, you know, then I give it back to you. If it don't go right, you know, at least I haven't wasted my time. You see what I'm saying? Crying? You serious right now? Y- yeah. Like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is super weird, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is uh weird, and uh, I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm kind of, I, I don't even really know what to say, like, other than um, you could probably lose my number, like, you a weak dude, like, don't call me, like, you're corny, I'm not interested, you're a bum, like, I'm straight, like, I don't okay, know what okay, else to okay. say. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wasn't all that. No, I wasn't all that. Really talk about. We've been talking. We've been talking for five weeks. Everything been good. We've been. But you're we've been weak, on though. the site talking but to each other. But you weak though. You trying to ask me for a cash app for real? A love deposit? How corny are you? Are you serious? Seriously? Okay. <laughs> like, okay. Listen, you gotta be if, out if, of if, your if mind. You, if you believe, listen, look, Tim. Tim, mm-hmm. on the real. If you believe in yourself, Tim? then you then you <laughs> deposit back. You know. What I'm if saying? I believe in myself, get your full ass out of here. You have lost your. F- in mind, okay? Would you please, like, gather your thoughts? Because I don't know who you think you're talking to, for real. You know what I'm saying? So I need you to do two things. Lose my f***ing number and don't, don't look for me. For real, straight up. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, this is stupid. You ignorant. For real, straight up. Okay, okay. Show, up. show me no, show me where I'm wrong. Up. If you believe in yourself, though. If, if I believe in myself, ass dude, what you mean if I believe in myself? If you believe in yourself, your b- ass will move around, get off the phone, and stop wasting my time. For real, I'm about to hang up right now. For real, I'm trying okay, to okay, okay. Hey, listen, listen, listen. This is a violation you, of my space. Straight okay, up. Okay, before you hang up, Joe. Okay, for you, real. Can, you can go your you could go your way. I can go mine. You don't want to cash out me to two fifty. Cool. Got I ain't that. Cash out to two fifty. Fuck ass, dude. Okay, <laughs> what are you okay, cool. To? Hey, it is. It, you know what it is. Where? What it is? Is this your loss, though, Tiff? This your loss. <laughs> you gotta be out of your rabbit ass mind. Ain't no losses here. Ain't no losses. Ain't no losses. Okay. But this is okay. a lesson. Okay. You know what? You know what? I knew this was gonna happen. You know, no, when, I, I when know a brother try to be happen. real, when a brother try no, to be real, this is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you might as well. Hey, turn around, go the other direction. Lock yourself up. Seriously. You okay. want to talk about black black men and brotherhood? Like this is a rap for you. We don't need you out here. You're useless. Straight up. Like, don't call me. Destroy yourself. For real. I'm done with that. Goodbye. Okay. I'm okay. Talk- can, I, can I tell you something else before you leave real quick? What? I just want to let you know that this is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your sister, Lachey, <laughs> Lachey got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Your oh, sister no. Lachey said you got to get my sister. She been on the line. Uh-uh. She been on this, on this dating site talking to this guy. Uh-uh. She been the time. <laughs> Where is she at? This is stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. We got you, baby. We got you good. Yeah, y'all did. This is crazy. I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her. This is crazy. Uh, well, I tell you what. I'm glad you're not real. Tell me this. It's 2020, baby. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Uh, the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Hello? Hello, I'm trying to speak to Shanice. Uh, she's not here right now. I'm going to take a message. Uh, you, do you know when she's coming back? Nah, is this a business call or something? No, nah, no, nah, this is personal. I need to talk to her immediately. No, nah, you need to talk to me. This this a man. This uh, who is this? This is this is Brandon. Who 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 are you? I'm Ernest, man. But uh, how do you know Shanice? I I got a bit of a situation here, man. Uh, and it, it's basically a financial situation that I'm owed some money from her. So I kind of need to talk to her about about getting this money. Uh, is is totally disrupted my whole apartment, and I need to actually see about talking to her about getting this whole problem taken care of. What what's the what's the situation? What what's, what's the what's going on? I mean, I I'm basically right now I'm twenty five hundred dollars in the rears due to due to Shanice. And and I I you know, I I need to see if she's gonna be able to pay me for this situation or what, you know? Do my girl owe you money? She she owes me twenty five hundred dollars. Twenty five hundred dollars for what? I don't even know who you are, first of all, so What's up with the twenty five hundred dollars? Uh, man, first of all, my name is Brandon. Okay? okay, and I've been I I know I've been knowing Shanice probably for the last 
three or four months now, okay? So the, here you, you want to know it all in a nutshell is it's like this. Shanice been coming through, okay, for the last three or four months, been coming over here to my spot, to my apartment, hanging out. I'm just now finding out within the last two weeks, um, it's, I had to get rid of my couch. I had to get rid of my mattresses. Because your mattress, because it's bed bugs. Wait a minute, dude. Wait a minute. So you trying to tell me she was in your bed? Yeah, she been in my bed, dude. She been in your bed. Are you crazy? Hey man, come hey, on man. now, dude. Listen, you know, you know, hey, the problem is right not now. where you she been. Twenty five hundred dollars. Problem is, you talking twenty five hundred dollars? You talking about my girl was in your bed? Now we not even gonna get into that. You understand what I'm saying? But that twenty five hundred dollars, you can forget about it. No, 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 no. Hold, Hold up, first of all, you no. calling here? You calling here? You calling here? And here is do answer the phone, and you still got the to ask for her, and then go tell me about some twenty five hundred dollars about some mattress? Dude, I'm out. My my mattresses, man, are a thousand bucks. It's full of bed bugs. I had to throw that away. Man, I'm not worried about no damn mattress, dude. You talking about my girl? We've been together for four years. I'm about to pop the question on her, and you want to sit there talking about she been hanging with you or kicking with you for the last four months? It's about to be over in a minute. Dude, if you want to marry Shanice, cool. I don't care nothing about nah, that. Nah, hey, don't even worry about that now. But you over my phone talking about some damn mattress, man. That's that's a problem, dude. I ain't worried about no damn mattress. I don't, don't worry about it. I ain't got no dude. mattress right you now. You calling my house? You calling mine? Dude, dude, that dude, I do not have a mattress right now, nor do I have a couch. Do you understand the problem that brings to me? I don't care nothing about, about some mattress or couch, dude. I don't care nothing about that. Your name, you say your name, Brandon? I'm Brandon, yes. Yeah, Brandon, okay, don't worry about it, Brandon, because you're going to find me real soon. Don't let me find you before you find me, though. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Dude, dude, dude. No, dude, dude. You can have them bed bugs and that mattress or whatever. Answer these for all I care. But what I'm saying is, you talking about some bed bugs, ain't no bed bugs over here. Okay, so, so what's she getting about the bed bugs? She done brought them over here to my place. I don't care nothing about it. She ain't bring nothing over there, first of all. But I ain't, that ain't even a problem right now. Dude, you, Chinese, you call, you call, call me been over here, man. I ain't had nobody couch. else over here. Right, don't worry about who you had over there. But you don't go call here talking about no money. You ain't getting nothing from here. Okay, first of all, dude, check this out. I don't have a problem with you, okay? Me and you cool. No, me we and you cool. We already got a problem. You calling me talking about you been sleeping with my girl. Hey, dog, dog. Once, I'm going to say it again. Me and you cool, dog. We dude, cool. We not cool. We not cool. Learn 911, because when I come knocking on your door, 
if you come out or you handle it, or you better call the cops. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? <sighs> hey, man, do you think Tommy will pay for the bed bugs? Who is Tommy? I'm just saying, do you think Tommy will pay for the bed bugs? Hey, who the f- is Tommy? Tommy, dog. Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Ernest, you just got pranked by your girl, Shanice. <laughs> man. Y'all, y'all. Woo. You all right, man? Boy, hey. Boy, it was over. It was over. You understand what I'm telling you? It was <laughs> over. <laughs> Too far. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hey, man, let me tell you something. The relief. The relief in that brother. Woo. Yes, Steve. Man, it was over. Wow. You hear what I'm telling you? It was over. Man, this you dude was hurt, but he was yeah. going to But Tommy, he was going to do something to you, though. Mm-hmm. He was going to win. Oh, yeah, he ready. Because you, you know what, what that dude's saying? Do. I ain't going to be the only one hurting him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Yeah, you fall you, 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 yeah, The emergency man, number you need to know man. is 911. You need to make sure you yeah, know that, okay? Real, you, you got scared real, when he though. said that, I think. Yeah, I'm going to get a mattress, wrap, man. You have a coffin wrapped around it. Yeah, he was not joking Let me ask you a question, man. Did you know she had a man? <laughs> well, right kind of, sort of, almost. Not like really, kind of. Uh-huh. Not really. Well, no, I don't. Not. Because <laughs> he just wants you to know if you just knew and and you went on anyway, that's the ultimate disrespect to a man. Right. Exactly. You knew about me and you thought you could do it and like I, I was the punk dude. Nah, <laughs> yeah, I'm finna show you something. Woo! <laughs> you uh, you got a man up your way so now. much, girl. <laughs> Mm. All right. Uh, you there you thank have. you, nephew. Coming up next, it's my strawberry letter subject. I cut my mama off for my husband. We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hello, therapy and this is Judy speaking. How may I help you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to come in and, and get some uh, some therapy done. I was in an accident at my job. You know, I got injured like a week and a half ago. I ain't been able to go back to work for my back and my leg. They say, you know, I haven't broke any bones or nothing, but it's, you know, it's real sore, real stiff, and hard to get out of bed. So I wanted to see, you know, what it takes to, uh, to get a therapist and get start getting some type of treatment. Okay, well, sir, what we typically do is we ask for our patients to come in, you know, check out our facility, and so we can also assess you, um, you know, see where the damage is, the majority of it, and, you know, then get you to a therapist. So if you would like to come in, we can definitely do that for you. Okay, do you know what the therapists actually do when they're doing the treatment? Well, if you come in, sir, we can definitely direct you um, to any of our three therapists that we have on site right now. Uh-huh. Um, but each one specializes in a particular um, field. So it's more beneficial for you if you come in, and then we can assess you and then direct you to that particular therapist, okay? Okay. So you say, how many y'all do y'all have? We have three. There's Marty, Brenda, and Cecilia here. Okay. The person that uh, referred me to y'all told me that Cecilia was the one that, that had worked on. Is there a way I could talk to, C- to, to Cecilia? Typically, we normally ask our patients to come in, but let me see if she's available right now. I know earlier she was with a patient, so let me just check really quick. Um, and if she is available, then I can I can transfer you, okay? Oh, okay, okay, I'll I just hold on. Okay, hold on. Hi, this is Cecilia. Uh, yeah, Miss Cecilia, uh, trying to come up there and get some therapy done. I hurt my back and my leg at work. I mean, they, are, they already told me wasn't nothing broken, nothing, but I wanted to see... What exactly do y'all do as far as physical therapy? You know, what what exactly will I be doing? Well, when you come in, we'll do a consultation. And, um, you know, we'll massage you and take x-rays and put you in a whirlpool tub. And there are several different things that we can do for you. Okay. Is it, is it a certain timeline? I mean, like, how long would it take before I can get back to work? Because, you know, I've been off for about a week now, and I'm trying to get back within the next couple of weeks, but it, it, it's taking me, like, you know, at least 30 minutes to get out of bed because of my back and my leg. Oh, wow. Well, you need to come in as soon as possible because that sounds like that's pretty bad. Okay. Well, well, let me ask you this here. After people get through doing uh, the therapy, do, do y'all have uh, happy endings? Happy endings? What do you mean by happy endings? 
happy end is like you know when therapy is over with you know do would you yourself you know would you do happy endings at the end okay i'm I'm still not understanding what do you mean by happy endings what are you talking about okay say like if i come over there and go through a session or whatever for about an hour when we get through you know will you kind of like you know close the door and 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 you know, make, you know, do happy endings. You know, make, make me feel good. Okay. Um, close the door. Uh, I'm still not quite understanding what you mean by happy ending, sir. Okay. What I'm trying to say is, like, when we get through with the procedure, uh, you know, make me feel good in a in a, in a nice, uh, you know, sexual way. You know, happy endings. Uh, when Judy sent you uh back to me. What are we talking about with this happy ending thing? Because I don't, I don't. Well, I, didn't, I didn't ask her nothing about the happy ending. That that right there is just going to be between me and you. Well, see, I don't, I don't play that. I don't, I don't care. This is a place of business. We're professional here. We do therapy for people who are seriously f-ing hurt. This is not the the nearest f-ing bar. What the f-ing are talking about happy endings? After we finish with that, well, what what kind of place do you think this is? Well, I mean, I know it's I know it's therapy, but I mean, it, it, if people going through that much pain, at least have some type of happy endings, don't you think? Well, I think you might suggest your significant other. Okay, so you wouldn't be up for doing the happy ending part? Hell no, I ain't interested in that. M- what kind, man? What kind of b- this? You call about talking about you hurt? Hell, if you hurt, you shouldn't be even talking about happy b- ending you talking about okay hold on i mean you're not talking to me professionally well you coming at me with this happy ending ain't uh professional at all either what kind of place you think we running over here Uh, okay hold up i was referred to you i'm thinking you know the guy telling me you know you're gonna take care of me what guy told you like that i'm sorry what guy told you some like that you know what let's not even go into there because i don't even want to bring him into this can you satisfy me after Easter? I'm going to tip you a little bit, too. What? what? Man, have you lost your everlasting marble mind? Are you gone crazy? Judy, Judy, who in the hell is this on the phone that you done sent through me thinking this is the happy ending place? Wait, wait. Who is this? Miss Cecilia, she don't, she don't know nothing about the happy ending part. It don't matter. You, you, you the receptionist. You know what? You on the borderline of losing your job, because this is Hello? Hello? Miss Cecilia, can I just tell you who who, who referred me? The, who? Who? Who in the f*** told you that I have happy endings for anybody? Because the only person I have happy endings for is my husband. Okay. So who? Who was it? Miss Cecilia, nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your girlfriend Karen got me to prank phone call you. Y'all f- Full of <laughs> y'all in here getting me ready. I'm about to fire my receptionist. I got folks in the lobbies. They just think I'd have lost my fucking mind. Y'all gonna call me on my job? With I'm a kick cut. <laughs> this is oh. this just, just oh. don't make no sense. Mrs. Cecilia, she told me she said my girlfriend' patience is short. Very, <laughs> very. Oh, it's on. She gonna need her. Oh, that's all right. I got something for her. Oh, you got some happy endings. For her. I, I got some happy endings for her. You just wait. I be. <laughs> hey, Cecilia, you gotta tell me this, baby. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> yeah. It's nephew. Hey, this is the doorman, Mark. Uh, your building. Okay. I have a mistress in here and he wants okay. to be buzzed up supposedly he left some articles in the room or in your unit a couple of days ago i was out of town a couple of days ago what day are we talking about uh said wednesday thursday and friday he, he was there all three days you guys let him into my apartment for three days he was in my place no no, no mr Ch- we don't let anybody in unless someone in the unit allows them to be buzzed up. That's the rules here of the building. So we definitely didn't do anything out of character. So who let him in? Who buzzed him in then? Sir, I hate to say it, but I'm assuming your wife must have buzzed him up. What you mean? My wife was not there three days ago. She was on a business trip. She was not at the apartment three days ago. No, sir, your wife was here. I've actually seen your wife come in and out. Okay, what did he leave in my place? He says he left a pair of pants, some underwear, and a toothbrush, sir. Sir, Mr. Hill. Hill, he's there right now.
Let me talk to him. Put him on the f phone. Let me talk to him. Uh, you know what, Mr. T I mean, right now, the, we're listening to you, and I rate the way you sound. I don't want to put this guy on the phone. Mark, if you want to keep your job at the building, you're going to put him on the phone now. Hey, this is sir. Sir, yeah. sir he, Mr. He's actually leaving out of the building now. He's, no, um, no, you, what the would he's you let him out. leave? He's walking out. I, I don't I know. I should have put him on the phone. What the is your problem? <laughs> you got video surveillance, right? You got video footage of everybody that comes in and out of the building, right? Uh, yes, sir. But you know, if, if nothing occurs, we, I think we should have footage that goes back at least two weeks. So we should be able to pull some things up for you, sir. Yeah. I'm going to need you to get that. And I need it sent over to me right now. I'm at my work email. I need it today. Cause this is some, y'all let some my apartment. And, 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 and this is some, said, hang on, some Mr. 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 Like, what kind of Mr. poop are you? What kind of imbecile are you? Hey, hey sir, Mr. 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 What? Hang on a second. What? All right. Well, let, let, please hear me out, sir. Hear me out. I haven't. We haven't just let someone in. Someone in your unit buzzed someone up. We didn't just let anyone up. Now I know you don't want to hear it, but I'm assuming your wife buzzed this guy just son up. We didn't do that. You shut up and get me what I asked you for, and then we're done. Okay. Well, well, you know, you're saying I have a problem. Maybe you have a problem pleasing your wife, and that's why she's buzzing other people up her. Oh, oh, you go to f***ing okay, sir, talking to me like that, you punk. Sir, you're being you're disrespectful to me as well, sir. No, 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 no. no the, the disrespectful is you coming and letting people come up in my building that you know is not. I haven't let anybody up here. I can't stop your wife from doing what she's doing. You let somebody okay, in my building. You're, taking, in my you're taking out on me and, and, what you should be saying to your wife. Somebody has got to dress up all the time and always buzzing somebody up to the room when you're gone. That's you what you need to be concerned about. Door, man. Mr. You, you, you know what? I'm the only around here busting my take care of down there. I'm over here working right now to pay for that so that your got a job. Well, you might be handling your you man, you but evidently you're not, you're not handling your business at home. That's why she keep buzzing people up, sir. You know what? Well, the business I'm going to handle when I get home today is your mother. Your your wife has been hey, sir, you're gonna quit calling me the doorman, okay? You are the doorman. What's your mother position? Huh? What the f you do for a living? I'm a doorman. Open doors. And thank you, Mr. Doorman. Matter of fact, I'm gonna stop calling you Mr. Doorman, because that's giving you too much respect. Okay. Uh, if you, you know, if you if you stop Tommy from going up to your room, you'll be fine. Yeah. Who the f Tommy? Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> Y'all <Y> crazy. <laughs> Y'all about to get s. Oh! You are in my job cussing. He's my job. Man, this is not cool, man. You don't know the <laughs> that was going through my head. That, she was about to get it. Y'all was, everybody was about to <laughs> get it. <laughs> hey, man, I got to <laughs> ask you, man. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Man, got to be the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs>